Hey everybody, sorry I can't make it today. I got a track practice, so I made this quick video just to help you understand what we're doing with our civics project today. So before you watch this video, the sub was supposed to tell you to practice vocabulary for 15 minutes or to make up what you missed yesterday. So if the sub forgot, maybe just remind him or her that just so that they can know. But again, you're supposed to be able to do that for 15 minutes. Um, this video is only going to last about 10 to 15 minutes as well. I'm just going to explain to you what the Civics Project is. And the first thing we need you to do is on your notebooks, um, I should also say get out your notebooks real quick. And you know, at any point in this video, you need to pause me to do something. Go ahead and do that. It's so like right now, dig out your notebook, find it, and then just pause me if you need to. So, got your notebook now, go ahead and write down the date. Today's April 2nd, Tuesday. Go ahead and write that date down. And what I would like you to do also on the top of the notebook is to write brainstorming. Okay, so again, write April 2nd, Tuesday, and then go ahead and write brainstorming on there. And what you're going to do also is get one of these worksheets. If your sub has not given you the worksheet yet, please take care of it. It says, let me get the right angle. Bill Brainstorming Graphic Organizer. It's got all these little boxes and stuff on it. Go ahead and look for that. And it's a two-page document, but we only need the first page. So make sure your name goes on to that worksheet. Again, pause me if you need to remind the sub or if you didn't get one. Just go ahead and pause the video and make sure you got one. But you have the worksheet, and this is basically what we're going to use to propose our bill. So I'm going to get to this in a second, okay? But we do want to make sure our name is on it. Now... With this project, we are going to be picking topics again, very similar to what we did with History Day. And instead of focusing on you know historical topics, we're going to focus on political topics now. Part of teaching U.S. history is me. I'm also going to teach um, how government works, like so how a bill becomes a law, how the process works, all that stuff. So we're going to discuss those different concepts, okay? What you need to know for right now is this. This is the most important thing, so really pay attention right here. You are going to pick a topic, and you're going to write a bill about that topic. That bill is going to become a law. That is the entire idea. You guys can pick whatever topics you want to. There is no limitation anymore. So, for example, in History Day, I told you guys you cannot go before, I'm sorry, you could not go after 1900. Now, you can pick whatever topic you want. So, most of you are probably going to pick a modern day topic, and that's absolutely fine. You're more than welcome to pick any topic that you wish. That being said, the topic has to be something that you want to fix. Like That's what laws and bills are. They're fixing things. They're making something better because they're either um, removing something in society that's not good or they're adding something to society that will improve it. That's the entire idea behind it, okay? So we do want to make sure that we are focusing on that idea and concept. So that being said, I'm going to look over here a lot too because so I'm looking at my whiteboard. I'm going to mention the whiteboard a lot too, so make sure you're also doing that. So the very first thing I'm looking at over in the whiteboard, it says, number one, choose a topic that you will write, uh, write a bill about. It says, number one, it's in blue. It's kind of in the middle of the whiteboard. So that's the idea. We're going to brainstorm topics today. We're going to be thinking about what we want to study, what we want to work on. So I'm going to give you a couple examples. If you, go, if you look at the green section, it says questions we could reflect on. Then it has like one, two, three. And then next to those one, two, three, you see where it says school, community, and state. Those are the different things that we can work on. We can reflect on those questions. We can think about them. So, first thing, school level. You guys could pick any law or any rule about school that you want to either remove or add. You can remove things. You can add things about school. Georgia Morse Middle School or Riggs High School. Like, What are things that we could fix or do? Okay, That's what we want to focus on. So, for example, I've had a student before who said um, they made a bill that said teachers can only lecture for 20 minutes. And lecture means, like, talk to students where the students are just listening to the teacher. Like, they can probably ask questions, but for the most part, the teacher is very much the center of attention. They're the ones lecturing. There's probably a PowerPoint or a thing on a smart board or um, whiteboard that they get to the copy, but the teacher is lecturing. The students said a teacher's not allowed to lecture for more than 20 minutes. That bill last year became a law. Because the student researched it. They actually found research that shows that human beings can only pay attention roughly to 20 minutes of lecture. That only 20 minutes of lecture can actually help students focus on a teacher. 
not just students, but anybody. Like, I'm an adult. I can tell you right now that when, you know, Dr. Combo or another one of my supervisors, you know, has us listening to a lecture, I can only pay attention for about 20 minutes. My mind does drift away. I can promise you other adults are the exact same way. Other adults will chat. Other adults will make jokes. Other adults will take notes. So other adults will also not focus. So... Don't feel bad if, you know, you can't pay attention for more than 20 minutes, basically. And the student, like, d felt bad, too, is they wrote a bill saying, like, hey, this isn't right. Like, students can't pay attention, so they're not learning, and they had research to back it up. That bill became a law. And so what we did in my classroom is I made sure that none of my lectures would be more than 20 minutes. You guys might have noticed it this year that my YouTube videos and like my lectures in class are never more than 20 minutes or I do my best to keep them below that because I understand that it's really hard for a student to pay attention past that so that was one of the ideas is you know students can't do that and so the bill became a law um, this is a good point for me to remind you now too that these bills that we're writing are not just useless we're not going to just throw them in the trash we're not just doing this to teach you this is a real thing like the bills that become laws I'm going to give them to the school board. The school board that runs our school, that runs the rigs, that runs all the district schools, I'm going to pass those to the people who run our schools. I'm going to give the bills to Dr. Cumbo. I'm going to give the bills to Mr. Lowry. I'm going to show them to our superintendent, Dr. Gloat. I'm going to give them to other teachers. I might even be able to convince the representatives of our town, Pierre, South Dakota, our county, I might be able to convince them to look at them too, to show them what our students are doing. So we're not going to just toss these in the trash. We're not just doing this for something to do. This is real. Like We're going to give students the opportunity to actually make an argument. So you can kind of decide right now, do you have beliefs that you think should change? Do you think there are things that, about our school, our community, our state that could be better? If you do, great, you should write a bill about it to help them make it better. Because if you don't, if you're like, ah, oh, this is just another stupid assignment that I have to do, I'm gonna do the bare minimum. You know what, I, I can't stop you and I won't, but this is what's the reality, this is what's really happening. You have made the choice to be a whiny, bratty child. Because all you wanna do is complain about things. You don't wanna fix it. So if you actually fix it, then you're actually taking steps to showing people that you're, an, that you're becoming an adult, that you're becoming a person who actually wants to make things better. And trust me, there are plenty of adults, like go watch the news like one of these nights, there are plenty of adults who all they want to do is complain. All they want to do is say what's wrong and then do nothing to fix it. Don't do that. We have too many people in our society right now who do nothing but complain. I need you guys to be better than that. I want you guys to actually write down some ideas and figure out, okay, this is an issue, it can be fixed. And here's another example. You know, last year I had a student write um, a bill saying that we should be able to wear hoods all the time. And I let him write, you know, he can write that bill, it's fine. But here's what he didn't do. He gave me no research that proves that wearing hoods in class and school was going to benefit the students. Now, I think he could have done it. I think you could write a bill about that. But you have to go find the research. You have to go do the discussions. Like, you have to make the rationale happen. You know, like, think about my third level. Like, you guys are allowed to wear hoods and hats. Maybe it could have been a motivational thing. Maybe that could have helped out students. But he didn't do that. He was a whiny, bratty child. All he did was write, I want to wear a hood because I want to. I don't care what you want. All I care about is what actually is going to benefit you in our community and our society. Otherwise, you're wasting my time and we're wasting money. That's what's important. So, you guys can write about what you want. For another, here's another example. Last year we had a student write about racism, saying that racism uh, was a problem in our community and needed to be fixed. So the student wrote a bill saying like, hey, I have these, like this idea would help fix racism in our society. You know, the bill was well researched, it was well thought out, and it made sense. And because of that, this student actually helped us understand what we could do to fix the racism idea. So. You know, racism is a hard thing to tackle. Like, a lot of your ideas probably will be a big thing. You have to be specific. Like, obviously racism is bad. I don't think most people wake up in the morning and say, Oh, I'm going to be racist today. Or how can I make somebody, you know, a person who is a not white feel bad about themselves? I don't think anyone actually does that. But, clearly, we have racism in our society. Like, over 50% of you say that we see racism. If that's the case, what can we do about it? 
other than just being like, oh, it's bad. Yeah, it's bad, but what can we actually do? Like, we could fix it, but you guys need to help me kind of understand, like, what are we actually going to do to take steps to fix it? So, that's the idea. Come up with topics. Think about these things. Um, look at my board. So, we kind of talked about school. We talked about community. I'm going to talk about uh, state-level ideas, too. You guys can come up with state things. I'm going to ask a few questions now. How many of you like agriculture? How many of you think agriculture is important? How many of you think that South Dakota agriculture is fundamental? How many of you want to be a farmer, a rancher, or work in agriculture one day? You don't have to be a farmer to work in agriculture. Like, you could be a businessman and sell and buy seeds. Like, you can still work in agriculture. A lot of people do. Problem is, the last five years, agriculture has gone down. It hasn't made any money. What about hunting? Hunting. A lot of you probably are hunters. South Dakota is really known for hunting. Hunting the last few years has gone down. Less people hunt, so the state is not helping with hunting so much. What about the horse track? in uh, Fort Pier. The horse tracks aren't going to be open this year. They're not going to do any horse races because they're not making enough money. The state was thinking about helping the horse track, thinking about um, passing a law, but they shot it down. So if you like the horse track, if you think horse racing is good for our community, guess what? It's not here anymore. Maybe you should go out and fix it if you really think it's a problem. There's other issues too. There's thousands of things. So you decide right now, like, what are the big issues that you believe? Like, when you're having par uh, talks with your parents, when you're discussing with them, is there anything that you guys talk about that you wish you knew more about? Or are your parents or family or friends saying things that you don't believe, but you don't really know how to fight back against it because you don't, just don't know? Think about these things. I am giving you the opportunity to not be a whiny, bratty child. I am giving you the opportunity, though, to actually prove to people that we should listen to you and that you can change things. Okay, so we are going to pass these bills along. Make sure you're brainstorming ideas. In that notebook paper, I want you to write down ideas, okay? I'm going to show you a few ways you could do the idea of brainstorm. Uh, the first way, you see these surveys here in Team Haleakala on Tuesday. You got surveys one through six. Um, most of you, the survey one worked. I'm not sure why, but all the others like deleted your responses. So like survey two, for example, you can't see your responses. But if you want to scroll down and you want to, like, you know, Look at these pie charts, you can. You have to answer the questions first, though. So go to the pie chart, answer your questions, go through it, but I want you guys to use these pie charts. Scroll through them and actually look and figure out which ones, you know, are do any of these like questions or responses shock you? Are any of them surprising to you? If you get an idea, write it in your brainstorm notebook. Write it down as a topic idea, okay? Um, so I got six here. You guys take your time with them. Do the surveys first, like do all six, and then look at the pie charts, okay? Um, the next one, if you open a Google tab. So right now, if you go to Google, and if you want to do the pie charts right now first, go do the pie charts first. You can pause my video, then do the pie charts. But if you're done with the pie charts, you want to look at this stuff, um, you go to Google and type in Peer South Dakota Student Handbook. That's not working. Sorry. Actually, I wanted to show you. Why aren't you working? There we go. So type in Peer South Dakota Student Handbook, like that. Very first link, you click on that, and there it is. So you can use the student handbook to look at the different rules and things for rigs, and you can look at through the menu stuff right here. This will help you if you you know you want to look at this like the, the school discipline stuff, the backpack and book bags, all these different things. You could look at this stuff and try to figure out like you know is there anything about these that you want to fix? Like there's a lot of different rules. Um, like look, I didn't even know that we have one about pregnant students. We have one about prom. Um, we have students about cancellation semester tests. All these different things. So if you want to look through them, you're more than welcome to. Okay. Another really good link. Go to Google again. So go ahead and open up another Google tab. Type in Peer South Dakota Capital Journal. Open that up. Maybe. There we go. This video is sponsored by Coke. All right, so um, going through it. And so this is a, our local newspaper, so if you want to use the local newspaper, you can. It has a lot of articles down here, uh, things about sports. If you go up to the top, you see where you got menu. If you click on that, it gives you more options. You can also use these tabs right here to look up more things. 
So there's a lot of different ways you can look at stuff. You know, feel free to use the Capital Journal if you want. And just your own ideas too. If you have your own ideas that you want to write down, that's fine. So tomorrow, what I want to see from everybody is your notebooks. I want to see different ideas. Brainstorm as much as you possibly can. Write down any topics. They can be about anything. School related, community related, or um, state related. Okay. That's pretty much it. I'm at 15 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and stop. If you have questions, you know, ask the sub. Be as patient as possible with the substitute, please. And if you need my help, you're just going to email me. Email me, and I'll try to get to them tonight. That's it for me. You guys take care.